Hello, what is going on guys? My name is Sean and today I'm going to be taking you through what I think is probably my favourite class to use at the moment in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, the gun I'm about to show you has, I've often been told, is that people find it a little bit weak. I don't know, there's something I like about this gun and that would be the Weevil. Now, the main reason I like it for this game is that it has a huge magazine of 50 compared to the other submachine guns of about 30. So you've got an extra 20 bullets to kill people with. Um, I think that's one of the most important things for going on big streaks is having that huge amount of bullets that's going to be there to be able to help you stay on the streak rather than spending time reloading or hiding. I've decided to put grip on it just for general weapon control. Um, to create, this gun does have a, I'd say it's got a little bit of recoil with the grip. I find it to be a bit of a laser beam. Um, definitely fun to use. Long barrel is going to help um, the amount of bullets that it's going to kill. Um, generally makes it about a four shot kill. Um, most distances, I think even up close, it becomes a three. So it's going to be just as powerful as some of the other submachine guns. It just lacks a little bit of fire rate. Um, but you're going to have a lot more control than a lot of other submachine guns in this class. I've decided to put six cents on it. I think this perk's one of the most um, overpowered perks in the game still. I mean, every time we play Arena, it gets banned just because of the fact that it is so overpowered. Um, it's definitely handy to know where your enemies are around you. It is worth remembering that if you are running um, hardwired, you will be um, unable to see them unless you're literally standing right next to them on the radar. Um, but Sixth Sense is still a really awesome perk to have. It's uh, one of those perks that allows you to turn on players. I've got fast hands on. Um, this is just general weapon handling. If you've got a submachine gun, you're going to be moving around the map quite quickly. And this one helps you. Um, I mean, swapping weapons isn't really relevant. But if you're going to be aiming faster after sprinting, that's going to be huge. It means your gun is going to be right up ready to go. If you wanted to change the class a little bit, you could couple fast hands with quick draw. Um, that means as soon as you um, stop sprinting and aim down your sights, you're going to be aiming instantly. You could substitute the grip for that. Um, grip for quick draw, I mean, it's going to work just as effectively, I think. Hardwire is great because of the huge amount of things that you're going to be uh, immune to. So counter UAV, power, I mean I don't see many power cores, EMPs and smoke screens around, but they can cause a little bit of havoc from time to time, so I think it's important just to be immune to those. Trip mine shock charges and C4 alarms can be some of the most frustrating stuff in the game, particularly trip mines. If they're on the wall, you can't see them, you're not going to trigger them. Um, and the C4 alarm, you can just walk up straight behind that guy camping and kill him with that. Also, the tracker and six sense perks can be quite annoying um, when they're used against you. So it's kind of taking the most overpowered things in the game and making them kind of underpowered um, in the way that they're going to work, and you're still going to be using them with your six sense. Um, unfortunately, we don't have another perk spot for tracker. I don't like using tracker. Um, I think it's a little bit cheap, but for those that are using Tracker, they're not going to be um, able to see you. Um, so I think it's only the steps are only going to work a few meters back, not as effective as they normally would be. I think Blast Suppressor is almost a must for every class in this game. Um, otherwise, if you do a little bloppy thing, wall running or whatever, you're going to come up on the map with that little wave. Um, I think it's really important just to hide yourself from that. And not only that, if the enemies are close to you, they're not going to be able to hear your thruster jump. So this one's going to be really important for any game mode um, in staying alive because you're going to be invisible on the radar and you're going to be harder to hear when you're jumping around. Um, the last perk I've got, and I mean, you could this is a few different perks you could run here. Um, awareness or Dead Silence are two that definitely work hand in hand. Um, I've got awareness on at the moment, so when you're running around the map, you're able to hear people you know, like across the room um, if they're jumping in a window or anything like that. Dead Silence is also an excellent one to run. Um, obviously, people that are running awareness won't be able to hear you, and if they're not running awareness, then they've got absolutely no hope of hearing you. It's very, very silent, the Dead Silence in this game. Um, definitely recommend it in any stealthy game type, such as Surf, Search and Destroy, or even Team Deathmatch. Um, I wouldn't really bother running Tactical Mask or anything like that. I mean, you could if you find yourself in that situation a lot. But I'm going to stick with Dead Silence or Awareness. It just depends on your playstyle, really. I mean, uh, most of my classes tend to have Dead Silence, such as my XR2 class. This is my other uh, go-to Assault Rifle class at the moment with uh, Rapid Fire and Stock. Um, and I've got... This is, this is a counter UAV type of class with my Ghost and my Dead Silence. So I'm going to be moving around the map invisibly. But this is my favourite class to use at the moment. Uh, getting this one... Um, 
gold at the moment, currently got my assault rifles and a few other ones, um, diamonds, so I'm working on the subbies at the moment. This is my favourite class to use while I'm getting this one gold. Um, I recommend you at least give it a go. You can even try some of the other weapons with a similar um, perk and attachment run. I mean, the Pharaoh could probably complement this one quite well. The Razorback and the Cuda as well. Um, the Vesper is quite a strong gun too, so that doesn't really matter. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. That's just a little uh, tips video for me, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.